Boy on the road. What up? Heritage number four. In your face right now. Alright. Dude, I'm hungry. I ate 12 hours ago. I was, con you know, I brought some food to eat, but, you know, uh, I'll just eat later or something. Uh, Ryan is offering a last minute trade here Orioles for Giants. Luis says, sure. Okay. So, Orioles for Giants. Last minute trade here. There you go. So Louise has the Orioles and Ryan has the Giants, as you can see there on the screen. All right, let me sort that because it bothers me. There you go. Done deal. And as always, good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. All right, so what time is it? 2.13. By the time I'll be done with this, it'll probably be 4 in the morning. Yay. Let's do it. I set a goal, and damn it, I fucking murdered it. I wanted to fill at least three cases, and I did four. Not to mention... The case I did for eBay, that means I have now done five full case breaks of this stuff today. My goal was to get rid of all of it so Jason doesn't have anything to do with Heritage. I got rid of half. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. And uh, honestly, can't do this without y'all. So thank you very much for always helping me fill breaks I really appreciate it so let's get you something nice shall we yes yes we shall here we go All right. now what are the odds that I can fill yet another one well number five is at 21 Number six is at 22. I, I just got this crazy idea of opening up all the packs at once. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not sure. That's a good question, Erica. I'm going to have to uh, use the old Google search on that one. I think there there might be. But I can't... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I, can't, I cannot confirm that at this moment. Holy crap, Ryan. Jesus Christ. So I'm assuming the first message is for the first PYT, second message for the second PYT, and the third message obviously for the third PYT.
Oh, so it was in the second PYT? I'm just assuming here. I'll check it out before I leave. I gotcha. You know, I have this, uh, so basically my phone is pretty much like my freaking secretary. I had a bill due. Matter of fact, let me check the schedule because for for I continue talking crap. Yeah, that was supposed to be taken out of my account already. My car insurance should have been paid for already. It automatically takes it out of my account, so I'm not worried about that. It's just so frustrating when I think I have money in my account that's not actually there because the freaking transaction hasn't come through yet. And then, BAM! Everything comes through on Monday. Such a pain. So I have to like, oh, I have this much money, but wait, this hasn't actually processed yet. So in reality, I have this much money. These are things that I, that, my, that that dumbasses like me think about. Anyways, see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. Got a random the flashbacks. Corey Kluber of the Indians. To 570. That's a base short print. I got you, Ryan. I'll take care of you. Uh, whenever the night ends. Dude, honestly, I'm dude, I'm I'm wide awake. I mean, I'm hungry, and just give me a little snack right quick, and I'm, I'm ready to keep rolling through Heritage. Honestly, I'm down to pull a marathon when 10 o'clock rolls around, which is in 8 hours. I'll start ripping uh, Contender's Optic. Shit. I've done it before. My record was 22 hours. 22 straight hours. Streaming, breaking, having a jolly old time. That's a big short print at Kemp. Bloop. Wolfie, you remember that, huh? Yeah, some people don't remember that. You one of the OGs, though. You one of the OGs. As long as we keep filling breaks, I'll keep ripping them all night long. Looking a little suspect with that pose there, Mr. Carpenter. Wow. Really, Wolfie? That's awesome. What? A Clubhouse Collection Autograph Relic of Chris Bryant of the Cubs. Well, first time for everything. There you go. Uh, 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 that's pretty awesome for the Cubs. Come on, Pen. A clubhouse collection autograph relic redemption. Chris Bryant Cubs. Not bad. Not a bad way to start. 
Not a bad way to start at all. All right, I, I, I'm starting to notice that I'm like starting to check the backs of cards. If I continue to do that, this break will take forever. So you should stop that. Corey Seager, black for the Dodgers. Not a bad way to start. Not a bad way to start. All right. I've been pretty organized so far today. Let's continue that. Dude, there's so many different variations, Wolfie. There's French text variation. There's nicknames, team color swaps, action images, throwbacks, trades, errors. Well, in that first box, that was the hit. The uh, Chris Bryant redemption. Let's see what happens in the rest of the case. This is the second box here. Correct, Luis. Everything ships except the veteran base cards. So I got to check emails, I got to check messages, and hopefully uh, before I do any of that, we can continue ripping some heritage. Number five is at 21. How many people are watching right now? Fourteen people watching. Uh, dude, I did that already, actually. Alden. I did it already. I'm on number four. I haven't uploaded the video yet, Alden. But I got good news for you. You actually won dice roll, a dice roll, my man. So if you head on over to our website, ripcitycards.com, you're going to notice that we have uh, three different dice rolls. We have a $34 dice roll, a $59 dice roll, and a $79 dice roll. Each dice roll has different things you could win in it, uh, Alden. So well, how, how the dice roll works is this. I'm going to get a pair of dice, and I'm going to roll them. Depending on the number, that's going to determine the hit that you win. All right, Alden, you won a dice roll in Heritage number 2. It's a little bit of a promo that I'm, uh, that I'm doing. So... What I need you to do, Alden, is you have your choice of which dice roll you would like to pick. You have the option of the $34 one, the $59 one, and the $79 one. So let me know which dice roll you want to get into. I'll put you down for it, and then I'll do it at the end of the night. And like I said, each, each of those have different uh, things you can win. So make sure you read, uh, read the description, so you know what you could potentially win. Ra Ra passed out for a few hours. Uh, uh, woke up, still breaking. That's you know that's kind of, kind of the deal here. Ra Ra, keep filling breaks. I keep ripping them. Simple as that. So, Alden, just let me know in the chat which uh, dice roll you want me to do for you, and I'll take care of you. Davers of the Red Sox to 999. 
space short print. Yeah, just just don't forget to let me know, all right? Either way, if you do, I'll, I'll shoot you an email. Those dice rolls are a pretty sweet idea. Phillies, Rookie Stars, uh, Black Variation. There's an Astros autograph for Alex Bregman. Eric, there you go. I mean, I don't know which one you would rather have. I pulled in Altuve at number three, and now Bregman at number four. But there you go, my dude. See, tonight's been a pretty good day for you, man. Every dog has his day. Congrats, my dude. There you go. So I know it's going to a happy home. You'll take care of it. You'll feed it. You'll you know you'll take it out on walks. Make sure it gets enough sunlight, vitamin D. You know you'll make sure that it stays dust free. All that good stuff. Another mini. This is Chris Sale, Red Sox. To 100. The minis have been coming uh, randomly as of like the last three breaks. There you go, Red Sox. A Chris Sale mini to 100. There's sneaky good stuff in this. If you can deal with watching an hour and a half. A base card upon base card and me just talking nonsense you might walk away with something pretty sweet there you go Alden with the $59 holla okay play a pill I got you let me put you down for the $59 one I'll do it at the end uh, of the night so now Alden and, and I have to say this because I don't want you to feel like you're being cheated or anything. Uh, you do have some people in front of you as far as the $59 dice roll. And I do have to go in order. So as far as the things that you could potentially win, of course it's random. But I have limited amounts. All right. Let me see. Right now. You are, let me see, third, third on the list. It's cool. All right, no problem. You know, because I just, I, I wanted to let you know, because you know, there's probably one card in there that you're looking for, and then if somebody else pills it, and then when I do your break and you don't see it in there, you know, I don't want you get getting all pissed off and confused, like, what the hell, man? The reason I chose that $59 one was because of that. That's also true, Alden. Got to play to win, baby. Very true, very true. But, you know, I, I like to inform my peoples. You know, I, 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 want, I want to tell you everything. That way you know that there's no funny business. I like being transparent.
My fingers are starting to hurt. Mainly like these two. That do like all the opening. Is it, can you get like bruising? Or can you get like fingertip bruises? I want to be on injured reserve for the next two days anyway, so. Play through the pain. Wait, you get arthritis? Whoa, shit just got real. Arthritis from what? <laughs> yeah, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if, if it did, uh, Wolfie. Would not surprise me at all. Chris Sale, Red Sox, two nine nine nine. That arthritis stuff is no joke, though, man. had a teacher in high school who had like like severe arthritis in her hands and like I'm not trying to make a joke of out of it even though I am but like her hands literally looked like like chicken feet like they were just all crumbled up and like she couldn't open her hands like she couldn't even she couldn't even turn a doorknob bro like it was she couldn't even hold, like, utensils to eat and stuff. It was freaking sad. Beautiful human being, though. One of the best teachers I've ever had. God bless her. I hope she's doing well. Matt Shoemaker, Angels Black. Actually, I saw her a few years ago. I saw her, I saw her like, eight years ago or something. At uh, randomly, I, I saw her at like at a at a store, and um, you know at the time, well at high, during high school anyway, I was dating this girl, and you know we all have our types. I like them tall, dark, and uh, and handsome. <laughs> no, seriously, all jokes aside, she she was a tall girl, you know, same complexion as me more or less, long hair freaking Amazon of a woman oh my god so God bless her soul you know when she saw me I was with another girl completely different oh but you know she more or less looked the same tall long legs crazy hair gorgeous as hell my type you know what I'm saying so she goes to greet me and she calls the girl whose name is Elizabeth she called her by the other girl's name, who I refuse to say because fuck her. Bryce Harper, Nationals. Nationals, there. A little mojo there. And uh, it was top five, one of the most embarrassing things I've ever uh, experienced. Because then I had to deal with the whole crap after. So who is Jasmine? Who Who is that, huh? Huh? Is that one of your bitches? Huh? Oh, God. These are lies, Rara. Although, I will admit, I have uh, 
I have delved into the uh, the larger women, and let me tell you something. It's pretty freaking sweet, man. Once you put your pride to the side, big girls need love too, and man, they will they will what, bro? They will go above and beyond. And after they bang, excuse me, Louise, I know we have a lady present. I, I apologize, Louise, I apologize, I apologize. But, you know, after uh, after coitus, she's going to take you to go eat. Ain't nothing like that. You know, how many skinny girls you know after you do the no pants dance are just going to take you to Denny's just because? Not many, not many. Rara, don't pretend like you haven't. Uh... Come on now, don't 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 fake the funk. Don't fake the funk. We've all done it. Ain't no shame in the game. Ain't no shame in the game. Really, Ra Ra? Never? Well, excuse the fuck out of me. What? Wolfie, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. I mean, I, I remember this chick that uh, I hooked up with and we were hooking up with for a while. And she would buy me, like, colognes and stuff like that. Like, expensive colognes, too, because that's, that's my thing. I like to smell good. I collect watches, and I collect colognes. And, bro, she bought me, like, this $200 Gucci cologne or something. <sighs> good times. Good times. Oh, damn, Wolfie. You dirty dog, you. Oh, uh, that's the Yellow Submarine right there. That song has been uh, playing in my head for like the last two hours. For absolutely no reason. Yes, Alden, I, I will I will definitely admit to that. But you know, she would come over and you know we would do our thing and then you know like how after sex you just start talking random shit. You know, she would she'd ask because I it, I have a dude I have a massive collection of cologne. My favorite cologne would be that Gucci one. <laughs> it's I don't know the name of it, but it's a Gucci cologne. My mom originally gave it to me, like when I was back in high school. This was like ten years ago, and I managed to uh, to find another bottle of it recently. I'm sure they just remake it over and over again, but I forget the name of it, but it's this Gucci cologne. Jose Altuve Astros to 999. But uh dude, I have a few like I have one in my car. You know, it's it's an emergency ration. It is a it's a Lacoste uh, cologne. It smells pretty sweet. 
But, dude, I have fucking Calvin Klein. I have Ugo Boss. Burberry. Gucci, like I said. Um, too many. Too many. So, yeah, anyways, I agree. It's it's a pretty personal gift, the cologne. But, you know, after coitus, you know, you, you, have, you sit there and you have a conversation... And she couldn't help but wonder, like, what's what's what are all these cologne bottles doing on your nightstand? Well, baby, that's because I collect colognes. I like colognes. I like to smell good. Oh, I used to have Fahrenheit. It, it wasn't like, a, it's like in a red bottle, right? It's like in a red bottle. Oh, the Jaguar, Alden. I keep the Jaguar for special occasions. When I need that 65% of the time. You feel me? Jacob DeGrom, Mets patch. What are all those colognes? Why well, are you so weird? Why do you have all those colognes? Because I collect colognes. You got a problem with that? And then like a week later. Hey, I got you something. Fucking $200 bottle of cologne. And that's when I knew I was in trouble. JD Martinez Red Sox action image. You know, whenever a lady spends, like, more than $100 on you, you should be worried. Oh, hell no. That, that's one that I know. That Michael Jordan cologne is garbage, bro. Eternity. That's a good cologne. I got that one. That's the one that I, you know, I, I, that's like my daily cologne. I have this uh, YSL cologne that, uh, that I got a few years ago that I still have yet to use. It smells amazing. Um, I got, man, I got a bunch. Too many, too many, honestly. Is it too many, though? No, it's not. It's not enough. Ah, I, I used to rock the Azaro back in high school. That's funny. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> probably, Alvin. Probably. Probably. I don't care, though. I still got it. I think we're even though because you know after she like bought me the cologne she was like crying about this uh, like her closet and how disorganized it was and like how she bought like this freaking she had bought like a basically a thing to make a closet like to turn her to put up drawers and hangers and all this other crap that her ex-boyfriend bought for her and then they broke up so he never got around to installing it and it just laid there in her room so I was like you know what I'll install it for you baby and that's exactly what I did I installed it $200 for cologne is crazy she could have had Yankees Mets and Astro <laughs> I know what the hell was she thinking man <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. What, Alden? Seriously? Dude, first of all, if I ever make it to Amsterdam, I might not come back. Uh, but in this hypothetical, they have stores where they give you a custom mix based off your natural chemistry? Huh. Interesting. I need to get back. I need to get back on my watch game, though. As you can see, I don't have a watch right now. I, I only wear them when I when I when I'm going out. I have this G-Shock. That's my that's my daily one. It's a black G-Shock with a gold trim around it. Has a large face. 
it has like a little mini little digital clock on there but it also has like the regular other dials or whatever i have this movado watch that my mom gave to me a few years ago that i never wear because i'm afraid that i'm gonna fuck it up uh i have this other it's this it's a swiss watch i, I can't remember the name of the the name of it right now but it's it's a square it has a square face with links on it it's like it's all black and gold it's a sw it's sw it's something swiss like i can't it, it's a swiss like i can't remember the name of it right now uh and then i have this other watch that's all like black black and gold is my style like that's that's my thing like that's my favorite shit like if you look at my closet I have so many dark clothes. And black just looks good on my skin. You know what I'm saying? I forget the name of that watch, though. The brand, anyway. I think it's... It might be a guess. I, th I think. I don't know. I, d I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, a, not a big fan of leather bands. They kind of, uh, they, they, they like eat away at my skin. So I'm not a big fan of those. I, I'm much, per, I'm much rather the, uh, the, the, the links or whatever, the metal stuff. My man had a, a Citizens Eco Drive. Tripped out of a taxi, smashed a crystal. Oh, hell no. Dude, I'd be so pissed off. I need to get that Movado. I need to start rocking that Movado. It's all black. And on the inside, it's like blue. It's so sick. But it's like super fancy. So like, with my clumsy ass, I'll probably fucking smash the face of it. Just like Justin did. I mean, I, I don't want to do that. I need to get my watch game up, bro. I only have three, four watches. Brian, I would, dude. I don't know. There's a, there's a, there's a man. I've hit an Altuve. I've hit a bunch for the Astros, actually. There's a Bregman in here. Uh, I pulled an Altuve in the last one, a Kyle Tucker. That is an action image for Otani of the Angels. Uh, I hit a Nolan Ryan autograph. Um, I think I hit a Carl Yastrzemski autograph, too. I would say the Nolan Ryan is the biggest one. In my opinion, that's what I would consider the biggest one. Purple haze. What am I smoking some of that? Lourdes Guriel, Blue Jays, 99. Short print. That's the first Trey Turner I've seen. Or that I've caught anyway. Well, Brian, I'm to listen, man. As long as we keep filling breaks, I will stay live. That's just how I do things, baby. That guy looks like me. Felix Hernandez. That's a short print. Yep. Oh, 
Random question. If you could be any dinosaur, who would you be and why? I would probably go for a pterodactyl. I mean, yeah, I might be I might be a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl or like a triceratops. Carlos Martinez, Cardinals. Pacharoni for the homie. And he kind of looks like me too with the hair and everything. And I got a lot of I got a lot of a lot of doppelgangers out here in these streets. And what do I gotta do to get mutton chops like that? Look at, look at them sideburns. Damn, that's official. Sabretooth Tiger's not a dinosaur, Brian. That's not a dinosaur. Or is it? You might be. A Megalodon? I don't think that's a dinosaur either. I know it's a shark. A shark being... Wait, a shark... Is a shark a mammal? A sh Wait, I'm, I'm fucked up in the game right now. Mammals give life birth. Sharks give life birth. Are sharks mammals? Or are they fish? Dude, I'm all types of fucked up right now. And I haven't even smoked a blunt yet. Eric would be an alligator. Ah, touche, touche. Right, Justin? That's it's it's complicated. Cause I I I used to I used to have marine biology in high school, and I remember that sh you know that uh, sharks, like you said, the 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 ha the eggs hatch internally, and they eventually give life birth, and some of the sharks eat their brothers and sisters, or you know their 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 brethren, while in the womb. Sharks don't give a fuck. <laughs> a Stegosaurus? What's a... St oh, damn. Stegosauruses are pretty baller. I'm surprised nobody said uh, a, a T-Rex with the little baby bitch arms. Ah, there you go, Louise. Louise would be a T-Rex. <laughs> I do hate push-ups. Yo, the Velociraptor might be, pound for pound, like the best dinosaur of them all. Because they're ferocious little motherfuckers. They're not that big, so they fit in, in small places. They can fuck shit up, and it sounds badass. Velociraptor compared to like a fucking Triceratops. Velociraptors didn't give a fuck. Hey Siri. I called you, bitch. Hey, Siri. Really? Yeah, raptors were small as hell. Hey, Siri. You're going to pretend like you don't hear me? Hey, Siri. You serious right now? Hey, Siri. If you could be a dinosaur, what would you be? Hey, Siri. Ah, oh, whatever. You suck anyway.
the Utah Raptor. There's a Raptor indigenous to Utah? And they picked the Jazz of all teams to represent the Utah basketball squad when they could have been the Raptors all along? Shame. That's a damn shame. I was actually watching a documentary on uh, on dinosaurs not long ago, and apparently they were they have like bird like features, bruh. Like the way we picture dinosaurs is not like how they actually were. They were more bird like than anything. Mookie Betts looking like a bird right there for the Red Sox action image. Because when I think of like a dinosaur, I you know I'll admit I think of like. A giant fucking gator or something, you know? Like, definitely reptilian in nature. Or looks, anyways. But they actually, dude, they had feathers and shit. Crazy. The Jazz moved to Utah where they don't allow music. <laughs> I always wondered, like, of all places, Jazz in Utah? Not in New Orleans, where, where I think it originated from. Or maybe Chicago or New York. Like, that's, that's, that's up for debate. That's up for debate. The Ankylosaurus... They had spikes all over. The t oh, that's right. I do. Yeah, that's 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 a contender. That is a contender. I, I like the Triceratops though. Triceratops just looks badass. Motherfucker got three horns, bro. Ha! A Hunkasaurus Rex. I like that. That see, I was waiting when somebody would pull that one. What the hell is he looking at? Thinking about life. Scherzer trips me out, man, with uh, with his condition. Oh, that's the team name color swap. Nice. The team name color swap right there. And like I said, your boy got the eye. I forget what they call this, but that's kind of cool. He has a different eye color in each eye. There's a name for it. I can't think of it right now. For the Pirates, Josh Harrison. The Pacharoni. Scherzer Caller. Ah, oh, you see? See what I did there, Justin? Or what Tops did there? The Unrookie. Dude, this guy looks like, uh, what's his face? Buddy from fucking Major League. I forget his name. Thurman Munson. Damn, that guy looks like you would not want to catch him in a dark alley somewhere. Ah, there it is. Heterochromia. Man, you guys are on it with the Google tonight. Got that eye color swap Scherzer there. <laughs> uh That that's I don't know, that stance is a little suspect. Matt Carpenter Cardinals to nine nine nine, but hey, to each his own. The guy's making millions of fucking dollars. He can stand however he wants, I guess. Even if it is a little sassy. That is a short print.
All right, halfway through this bad boy. I got another six to go. Number five is at 21, number six at 22, seven at 28, eight at 27. You guys think a rock really killed all the dinosaurs? Like, what if a giant spaceship came by and, like, scooped them up? And they're going to, like, drop them off soon again. Imagine if dinosaurs just, just started thriving again out of nowhere. I think humanity would be all right, you know, given the fact that we can make tools and shit. That would be wild, though. Since I'm talking nonsense, for those of you that have, like, Netflix, there's a pretty cool show on there called Zoo. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. It's basically what would happen if all the animals could suddenly talk to each other and, you know, attempt to kill every human. Dude, could you... Could, I'm trying to fathom that. Like, imagine looking up at the sky and just seeing a big-ass rock hurtling towards you. And it's not like it's going to come, like, out of nowhere. Like, it's you're going to see it coming. Brian, you've seen Aliens? Yo, I don't play with that shit, bro. You guys ever seen this? It's a movie called the... Um, I think it's called The Fourth Kind. I, li I like horror movies. But I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I did not enjoy The Fourth Kind. That shit was a little too real. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch some Ancient Aliens tonight. And get high. Watching Aliens. Watching Ancient Aliens when you're fucked up is like. Top five things to do. When you're fucked up. Dude, that, yo. Like, I've seen, like, at least I think in my mind, I've, I swear that I've seen UFOs and shit. I mean, when you when you look up in the sky, like, you, I mean, come on. It's, it, it has to be mathematically impossible that we're the only intelligent beings on this planet. That is an action image. Danny Jensen Blue Jays. Like how boring would it be if we're the only intelligent life in the entire universe? I'm sure there's like a galactic confederation or something out there keeping tabs on Earth. Like, hey, are, are, are the Earthlings up to date? Have they gotten their shit together? No, they're still dicking around. All right, let's not introduce them to intergalactic space travel. Watch a documentary called The Skin... Wait, what? The Hunt for the Skinwalker. That's some scary shit. Whoa. You have uh, officially gotten my attention. Like I saw, I I saw what I thought was a snuff film not too long ago, and and I was eating cereal watching that shit. 
It's called uh, the Cannibal Apocalypse, I think is what it was called. You find some shit on the internet, boy, I tell you. Yeah, like, yeah, dude, I think about all that shit, like, yo, like, what if we're in the Matrix? What if we're, like, little marbles, just like in Men in Black? None of this shit is real, man. It could be, this it could be Elon Musk playing with his new toys, it's so, so true. Ah, see, this is one of those cards with a different stock on them. Altuve for the Astros. It's a base short print, code 120 on the back. I need to look with that code up. Uh, speak English. I need to look that code up. Because that card has, it's, it's, just, it's a different stock. Like, it just feels different. Like, to the compared to the rest of these cards. Yo, we've been hitting straight patches lately. Edwin Encarnacion. Indians patch. So that means we're going to be getting bombarded with autographs here soon. There you go, Ryan. Flipstock. Thank you. I knew I read it somewhere. It's on that cardboard connection thing that they constantly update. Cannibal Ferox and Cannibal... Oh, I haven't seen that one. I saw I saw Cannibal Apocalypse. Yeah, that's why they were... They were exactly. They got banned for killing, like, animals. It may, they, You know, given the angles, they, you know, it kind of looks like they're killing people, too. But, but no, they're not. Like, like, come on. But for sure, they killed cats and whatnot. Not cool. Not cool. Aliens are real. I've heard Kawhi Leonard laugh. <laughs> Have you guys heard of the reptilian race that apparently lives among us? They're able to shapeshift and whatnot. Boy, ancient aliens, boy. That's a short print. I mean, even though they present it like in a fan, like they present it like so outlandish, like some of the shit they talk about, like is like based in facts, yo. Like hieroglyphics, you you see like some of the images, like they you see fucking men with big eyes and fucking looking up at the sky, worshiping space men and whatnot, like. Yeah, I, I saw that one already, Brian. I'm on to the goddamn reptilians. I'm on to them. I'm on to them. Unless I'm one of them, too. Whoa! I just blew my own fucking mind there. What if I'm a reptilian and I don't know it? Oh, shit. I'm a sleeper agent, yo. Taking over the world one heritage break at a time. Nah, Brian, for sure. It did look legit. I've seen one with, uh, I think it was Obama. Is it really, Ryan? Well, shit. Let me go ahead and put that little, uh, toppy toppy loady loady on that bad boy. Yeah. Shoutouts to you, Ryan. Keeping your boy knowledge up. You know this reminds me of you got you guys ever see that movie called uh, 
Amer I think it's called American Psycho. With uh, Christian Bale in it. He's like a lawyer or something like that. And there's a scene where they're like in an office and like all the different lawyers are compared to comparing their like uh, their fucking their business cards or whatever. Like what stock they used and the font and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Brian, I've seen that. <coughs> I have seen that. Where, like, you look at the pictures and it looks like they're holding a cell phone or something. I saw a picture, which I find is hilarious. Some dude that looked just like Albert Einstein. And it, it was a picture of J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, at a concert. And in the, in the, in the, back, in the back of the... Of the of the crowd or whatever, you see this dude that looks like Albert Einstein. It's a meme, and the way the meme goes is like, "Damn, even Albert Einstein traveled, uh, you know, traveled to the future to check out J Lo's bootay." Well, it was a lot funnier than that, but whatever, you get the gist. Anyways, I'm done. Let's uh, continue going through these cards. Alright, we're bound to get an autograph. Where you at? I want chicken wings all of a sudden. Like spicy chicken wings. I want to try those chicken wings that Chris Evans tries on Hot Ones. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that show on YouTube. It's pretty funny. That is an action image for Bryce Harper. National Nows. Yup, Nicolas Cage is a vampire. He was almost Superman. That would have been creepy. There's pictures of him in the Superman suit and everything. Janice Joplin. By the way, y'all, if you have a white lighter, throw it away. White lighters are cursed. You never heard of the white lighter curse, Eric? Seriously? Daniel Radcliffe is the new Wolverine. Who the hell is Daniel Radcliffe? If is that are you talking about Harry Potter? Harry Potter's the new Wolverine? You shit me? Hell no. Nah. What? I can't yo, no amount of CGI is going to make me believe that he is the new Wolverine. It will forever be Hugh Jackman. But yeah, look it up, man. Uh, look it up. Look look up the uh the old white lighter. Like literally, just Google white lighter. Dude, Janis Joplin was found, uh, when she was found dead, she had a white lighter on her. Um, so did, I think, Jimi Hendrix as well. Uh, I think also um, Kurt Cobain also had a white lighter when he, pat when he when they found him dead. David Price or the Red Sox. Maybe the Reptilians are, are planting the white lighters on all these celebrities. There's a few like that. Like, there's a long list 
Yeah, you you, you have to be famous. I mean, that, that's probably a criteria to the white lighter curse. But do you want to chance it, Eric? You want to chance that shit? No. So toss that white lighter. That's a base short print. This is bothering me. Why the fuck does he have... Well, you know what? I shouldn't ask questions. Because this dude, at the end of the day, signs everything, if I'm not mistaken. Pat Neshek. That's a short print. It might be a mixture of both because I've I've heard of the twenty seven club. That shit, uh, I'm past that. So, whoo, bullet dodged on that one. But I'm still staying far away from white lighters. I don't play that shit. Oh, really? Nice little fun fact there. Neshek has glasses on because a Philly player in the actual 70s set did. Interesting. That's a, that's a nice little fun fact right there. Mothman. Oh, we're talking urban legends now. Dude. That's, man... Are we really about to go down this rabbit hole? Because as a Hispanic, my entire childhood revolved around all types of fucking urban legends. The Chupacabra, La Llorona, motherfucking the New Jersey Devil, all types of bullshit. Who is the undefeated champ of hide and seek? No. Is it Bigfoot? Ah, oh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot, the hide and seek champ. Y'all think that's a that, for like a for real for real thing? Like I'm still trying to find Bigfoot in San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Like that's one of the biggest myth amongst gamers. Has yet to be found, and that game came out like 15 years ago. It's one of the greatest games ever, too. Like, I could play that game now and not be bored. That game was ahead of its time. You might be able to, Fred. You know, I'm pretty fucking hungry my damn self. Luckily for me, I have a Walmart, you know, down the street from my house, more or less. So I, I kind of already planned my night out. I, I can't really eat anything too heavy. I'm trying to drop these pounds, yo. I'm trying to get back on the healthy side of things. So probably going to go to Walmart, get like a gallon of milk, and uh, eat some cereal. Raisin Bran is one of my favorite cereals. I've been munching on that for like the past week or so. Hey, the Purple Hot Box. It was about damn time. Well, no, I'm, I mean specifically in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Brian. Specifically in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. In the original game, the PS2, apparently there is a, uh, there's a Bigfoot. It's, it's been an urban legend amongst gamers 
since it ever, since it since that game was come out. To this day, neither Rock Rockstar doesn't want to confirm whether or not he's in the game or not. I I I, I like to think that he is. That game's so awesome. There's a serial killer in there. Dude, there's a serial killer in Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know how many of you guys are gamers. That game is so awesome. There's a vampire in Red Dead Redemption 2. Another action image? That's the second one for Harper. I can't wait till they release the new, uh, the remastered Modern Warfare on PlayStation Network in a couple weeks. Getting it for the free. Excuse me. You know, trust me, Brian. I've I've looked. I've looked. You know, and sp sup supposedly, you know, he only comes out like a, a certain time. Certain requirements have to be met. It's it's ridiculous. That's a short print. Mancini, Orioles. We still got three boxes to go through. I'm going to predict that there are straight autos in the last three boxes. Some Raisin Brand Crunch would be so fire right now. All right, well, I, I'm, you know, I will say this. The greatest cereal of our time, and it's not up for discussion, Frosted Flakes. Like, they're... Like, maybe Honey Nut Cheerios, maybe, but by and large, the greatest cereal of all time, Frosted Flakes. It's just so good, damn it. Lucky Charms are pretty good, you know, pops and whatnot. The Reese Peanut Butter Pup, those are pretty good too. Enrique Hernandez Dodgers Black Variation. Captain Crunch, can't go wrong with a little Captain Crunch. You feel me, Elden? It's it's a classic. It's you just it, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with a little Frosted Flakes. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, pretty fire. Let's see. No, never mind. I am hungry. Blueberry strawberry frosted mini wheats. Hey, yo, I like mini wheats, man. I like mini wheats, especially when they're like a little soggy. Pretty fire. Cocoa pebbles. I, I like fruity pebbles. I'm partial to the fruity pebbles, dude. I'm telling you, Captain Crunch fucks up the roof of your mouth. But damn it, I'll still eat a bowl. I will still eat a bowl. Honey bunches of oats with almonds. Yes, I love me some almonds. And I love me honey bunches of oats. It's not only good for you, but it tastes pretty good too. Tricks used to be my shit. Corn pops. Y'all ever eat corn pops? Corn pops used to be the, the shit. 
until uh, I realized that they give you a nasty aftertaste. My boy bringing out the Count Chocula? What? I don't know if you guys have ever tried this cereal. Uh, Oreo O's. Oh, my God. Yo, Honey Smackers. They still got them. Those are hard to find, though. Oreo O's. Oh my god. So good. Cookie Grills. Great nuts. The fuck is that? They still make waffle crisps, Aiden. Or is that Alden? Special K, solid. Grape nuts is like gravel in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your fiber somehow. Alden. Oh, I was pronouncing I was pronouncing it right for a while there, right? Any any relation to uh, to Fitz Magic, the uh, starting quarterback for the Buccaneers? A.K.A. Jason's favorite quarterback of all time. Jason being my partner. My life partner in this breaking game. He will be life tomorrow. While I'm at home eating cereal. Two boxes left. I haven't checked uh, on the store in a while here. I wonder if we have anything close to filling. That's a big short print. Touche, touche, touche. That's an action image. Yep, the Grom Mets action image. You guys ever eat uh, water with your cereal? Been there, done that. Those were sad times. How about this, though? You ever eat orange juice with your cereal? Like, instead of using milk, you use orange juice? Before, I know you're looking at me crazy right now. But I'm telling you, it's a pretty, pretty awesome combo. Or at least with Frosted Flakes. The sweet and the sour offset, and it's, 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 it's good. It's, it's pretty good. I was, a, I was a child when I put that concoction together. 
I want to say I was like 8 or 10. I was home alone. And I had, there was nothing to eat. Like, everything... It, well, okay. We had food to eat, but I had to cook it. And I was not about to cook and burn the house down. So, of course, cereal! And we didn't have any more milk. And I had already eaten uh, cereal with water before. And I ain't never doing that shit again. No matter how hard times are. So I decided, hey, you know, let me try some orange juice. And maybe, uh, I don't know, but to this day, I swear it was like one of the most delicious things I've ever had. Harper National Space Short Print there. What, what do I have to do to get a stash that awesome? Liverwurst sandwiches with grape jelly. I, I don't even know what the hell a liverwurst is. So I, I am neither, I'm neither disgusted nor uh, the opposite of whatever that is. What's the opposite of disgusting? Delicious, I guess? <coughs> I guess, I guess that makes sense, I don't know. It's late. It's three thirty in the morning. Don't, 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 uh, don't, don't pay me any mind. Luis Severino with a Yankees patch. So much for an autograph in there. How many autos do we have so far? Let's see. But well, we have the two. Yeah, we got two autos so far. So I can... Put, I'm going to put my, my uh, cell phone on the here. One of those last two boxes has an auto in it. Book it. Right. Almost there. Yeah, just check the store. Case number five is at 21. Don't see any movement in the store. So this might be the last break of the night. Oh, dude, I can still go. I am wide awake. I ain't going to sleep no time soon. Well, that is until I smoke. Then I'll probably pass out. She helps me go to sleep, man. I have trouble going to sleep. The Mary Jane helps me go to sleep. Actually, now I think about it, I do have to do those dice rolls. So I'm going to knock that out before uh, I finish the live stream. And who knows, maybe we'll fill a break by the time I Who knows? Yeah. the energy to talk random shit right now. So I'm just gonna shut the fuck up.
All right, here we go. This is box 11. There you go, Fred. Incoming, incoming. <coughs> Excuse me. That's an action image. Trish Bryant Cubs. Those seem to be like the most common of the variations. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man, my back is starting to hurt. Who would have thought, you know, sitting on your butt for. 12 hours a day would uh, not be good for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course I will all the night. We always upload everything before we leave. So that'll definitely be uploaded tonight. It's going to take a while because there's going to be a few videos to upload. Uh, you know, these breaks are like an hour and a half long. So that's a lot of stuff to upload. But it will be done. I promise you that. <coughs> Dude, all oh, not at all, man. You're good. It'll definitely get uploaded. Eddie Rosario, Twins patch. Nice, Alden. Well, I appreciate you uh, breaking with us, man. I'm glad you chose us to uh, to be your breaking break breaker breaker of choice. I, I don't know, Scotty. Listen, man. As long as we keep filling breaks, I will stay here. Uh, Scott. Honestly, I don't remember, bruh. I don't remember. I'm looking at the list now. Uh, you, uh, Scott, I don't see your name in two. I see your name in number three, but I don't see your name in number two. Is that is that what you meant? You meant three and not two? Then again, I'm, I'm starting to see little white stars when I blink. Which is probably a, a sign to eat or something. Syndergaard of the Mets to 570. Uh, okay, so you were in three. I, th I think you did decent, Scott. I'm, I'm trying to remember what you had in there. I, tr I don't remember it right now, but I think you had some hits. With the, with with one of those, I think the yeah the Astros. You had an Altuve autograph. Yeah, you got an Altuve autograph. There it is. It came. It came back. It came back to me. 
you probably hit some other stuff because the Astros have been hitting like crazy in this stuff. All right, we have one last box. But I'm going to go stretch these glutes right quick. Joe Pop, I don't understand why you people are so surprised that I'm still breaking. As long as we keep filling breaks, I'm going to keep ripping them. Simple as that. Ah. Get my stretch on. Oh, Lord. Good God. I have half a mind to go to IHOP and just eat by myself. Has it ha Has anyone... Um, I'm pretty sure you all have done that because you're adults and you don't care what other people think. But I'm, I don't know. I'm weird, man. Like, I don't, I don't know if I could go to, a, to, to any establishment by myself. Like, I wouldn't go... Maybe I should. Yeah, bro. Joe Pop. What can I say, man? Somebody, somebody got to rip this heritage. I'm probably the only breaker ripping heritage. All the other breakers point and laugh at me like, ah, that's the dumbass that breaks heritage. Ha ah. ha. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Just stare down at your food and never look up. It freaks the other diners out. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. Late night diners by yourself are great. Sit at the counter and shoot the shit with the folks working. Ah, that's, that's, you, you got me there. Dude, I wish I had a Waffle House nearby. I fucking love Waffle House. It's ghetto as shit, but I love ghetto shit. Makes me feel at home. And it gives me a chance to talk shit. Dude, I love talking shit. We have, well, there's an IHOP around here. There's a Denny's down the street, too. I'm strongly considering hitting one of them up. I don't know if you guys have seen this commercial. I don't know if this is like a nationwide promo going on or not. But apparently at IHOP, every omelet, like, you know how there's like omelet, there's omelet meals. There's different omelet meals at IHOP. Apparently, every omelet meal now comes with unlimited pancakes. You eat at Waffle House about three, dude, oh my god, I love Waffle House. It's, again, it's super ghetto, or at least the Waffle House is here in South Florida. And every single one that I've ever been to <laughs> are extremely ghetto, but I love it. The food is so good. I just, I love it. Denny's, you know, I'm glad that Denny's is a shit show nationwide. You know, I, I only go to Denny's as like an, an absolute last resort. Because how many restaurants are open at 5, 6 in the morning? Not many. And I don't want to fucking eat at McDonald's. I don't eat that bullshit that they have at McDonald's. Or if I want to sit down and have a meal. I love pancakes too, Joe Paul. I love pancakes too. All right, last box mojo, y'all. We have made it. Give your all, give give yourselves a, a, a round of applause. Yeah, oh yeah. All right, let's see what's in this last thing here. Need a one on one autograph, something major.
Dude, we're, they're building a Wawa down the street from my house. I, I had I have only ever seen a Wawa like up north, like past Georgia and shit. And I remember going to a Wawa once. There's an autograph for Jake Bowers of the Rays. All right, Joe Paul, have a good night, bro. There you go, Rays with an autograph right there. Well, you know, Alden, I could say the same for, for Waffle House. Except, you know, their menu saves them. The best kept secret at Waffle House is the pork chops. Really? You know, I, I usually get the steak. The steak is pretty good. Um, by the way, never get the T-bone at Danny's. Ever. Ever, ever, even if you're going to order it well done, do not order a T-bone from Denny's. Just take my advice. I might have to eat a pork chop, though. I'll take your word for it. Alden, you've never been to... Well, Waffle House is like a southern thing. I, I don't know if they're around all around the country. I know that they're a big thing in the south. And as a Floridian... I am in the south. Ergo visa V, Waffle House is part of my DNA. So good. The Walt bro, they have they, they make this sweet tea that is instant diabetes, but oh my god, it's so good. And you know, you should have a waffle at the Waffle House. It's, the waffles are pretty good there. In Chicago, you have Golden Nugget. I might have to check that out. Last time I was in Chicago was for the National a few years ago. And I went to Giordano's to have some pizza. Pretty good, I will say. Not not a big fan of deep dish pizza, though. I, I prefer New York style. But with that being said, Giordano's was pretty fucking good. Next time I go, which is probably going to be this year for this year's national, I'm going to hit up Lou Malnati's. I heard that place is fire, too. And now, you just gave me another place to check out, the Golden Nugget. It, dude, I'm with you, Eric. It's like, it's a pie, bro. Like, now I understand why why some people call pizzas pies. Jose, uh, Jose what? Jose like crack? Rangers black? Giordano's is Hollywood? Oh, boy. So where where's the real deep dish spot at? Is it Malnati's? Actually, I, I can't wait to go to the National this year. Chicago is such an awesome place, really. The people are freaking awesome. Great sports town. And I, honestly, I can't say enough about the people. The people are great. To 70, Gary Sanchez and the Yankees. Pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, so what's the spot for pizza? Malnati's on point. What, what else y'all got? Hit me with your best shot. So I can uh, add it to the places that I need to go eat at. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the break. Coolsies. See, I love how, like, every Chicagoan has, like, their own, like, eh, no. Like, some, bro, like, I met, like, I, when I went, pe people lived and died by fucking Giordano's. They're like, bro, Giordano's is the best place. Go to Giordano's. I'm like, all right, bro, I'll go to Giordano's. What are Giordano's? Not bad. The next day, oh, dude, I had Giordano's. Fucking awesome. Fuck Giordano's. Go to Malnati's. Blase blah. blah. I mean, Eric, it was, it's going to get done regardless, but uh, sure, here you go.
pale quads. Am I pronouncing that right? It's worth the two. It's a two-hour wait. They put cheese on the crust and then hit the cheese up with a torch, melting your mouth. Mm. I can only imagine. All right. So as far as these cards are concerned, you'll see there's like multiple teams on there. So I'm gonna give one to each team. All right, so like obviously one of these, one for the A's, one for the Red Sox, one for the Rangers, one for the Brewers, one for the Reds, one for the Braves, so on and so forth. So each team will get one. Any leftovers, it'll be up to my sorters to decide who will get any extras. Pequods. Huh. I'm going to have to check that out. I just put a new word in my vocabulary. Dude, I am lactose intolerant, but damn it, I can't say no to a good pizza. That's the first one I've seen too, Ryan. That is the first one I have seen too. Alright, so as far as those, everyone's going to get a T, everyone's going to get a 1. Let me write that down. I think I need a new pen. All right, now we're good. Multiple teams equals give one to each team. Boom. I got to do the random for the flashbacks, but before I do that, I want to open up these top loaders. Yo, Alden, I'm right there with you, bruh. Like I'm lactose intolerant, but I am gonna eat. I'm gonna eat mac and cheese and pizza until I die, and that's the end of that. So this is the customer service squad. Ooh, ooh, that's the case hit. Customer service team. There you go. So if you're missing anything, remember these faces, because they're the ones that fuck shit up. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, I'm not. Yes, this will be randomed. So let's put that aside. Let's open up these 1970 cards, who, which are apparently are original 1970s cards. You could smell the history on this stuff. I once ate a gum from like a 1970 pack or something like that. Never again. Dave Marshall for the Giants. For the uh, 1970s card. What do we have here? We have Dennis Higgins for the Indians. Yes, it does, Scotty. Every box has a box topper. Or a box loader. Whatever you want to call them. I call them box toppers. Because they're on top of the box. Bob Heiss for the Giants. Damn, this thing is all cut up weird. Apparently, this is from actually 1970. So that was hand cut right there. Are you serious? I'm well, not surprised. Alden, not surprised at all. This one is for the Orioles right there. Buford Belts lead off Homer. Game one of the 69 World Series. Ha. 69. Top's 50th anniversary. Pretty cool. It's like I'm time traveling with this shit. Alright, what do we have here? For the Expos, which I believe are the Nationals? The 70 rookie stars. Let's attempt to pronounce that. Uh, Gary Jesdat. And uh, that other one that got blocked due to the 50th anniversary... Carl Morton. Interesting. Alright, so there are the 1970s cards. And now the other box toppers that we have here. We 
have Rob Gibson for the Cardinals. Now that is not an actual autograph, by the way. But you can tell your girlfriend it is. That way she doesn't nag you about all the money you spent on on, on, uh, on cards. Mike Trout. Looking all dreamy there for the Angels. That's a nice picture with the sun in the back. I like it. Cool picture. Uh, Juan Soto. Box. I hear these go for like 15 bucks, 15, 20 bucks. On the on the old eBay. If you're into that kind of thing. Here we have Mr. Bryant, Chris Bryant for the Cubs. We have Carl Yastrzemski for the Red Sox. Box toppers are super cool this year. Like the last two years, from what I remember, some of the box toppers had like four or five teams in them. So I definitely like what they did this year with the, the box toppers. And uh, Thurman Munson. That is a mustache for the Yankees. And like I said, that's not an actual autograph. It's a shame, I know, I know. All right, so that's it for that. So before I recap this thing, there's a couple things I need to random. These flashback cards, as you can see, these do not have any teams on them, no team affiliation. So we're gonna random this along with the Topps customer service box topper. All those will be going to one team. Why? Because I said so, that's why. So, let's roll the dice. It fell off the table, doesn't count. I don't do one, twos, or threes because I'm a weirdo, but I do 12. So, let's go 12 times. I, it's, it's, I don't, it's not a phobia of mine, but it's just, I don't know. Anyway. Let's put the teams on the screen. Because it's amongst everybody. So there you go. Copy and paste. I love that function. Shout outs to whoever invented copy and paste. Lifesaver. Alright, we're going to go 12 times here. Money shot 12. Blammo. The Yankees going to be receiving the flashback inserts. And the customer service. Uh, box topper there. There you go. There's that. Put that aside. Put the name on this so my sorters know what's up. There we go. Alright. So let's knock this down. And let's do a little thing I like to call a little recap. So, God, these things pick up dust like crazy, man. All right, save these for last. Damn, we only got two autographs. No, I lied. We got three autographs. The Chris Bryant right there. So, patches, autographs, and 101s are considered hits in this stuff for the uh, hitless giveaway that I'm going to be doing here in a bit. But I just want to show off some of the uh, variations I found. Got an Altuve Astros flip stock. That's pretty cool. A Chris Sale to 100 for the Red Sox. A Gary Sanchez for the Yankees to 70. Alright. We got some action images here. Brian Cubs. DeGrom Mets. Harper Nash. They might sign it for you, Eric. Two for Harper of the Nationals. Jansen Blue Jays. This is the team color swap for the National Scherzer. Mookie Betts Red Sox. Otani Angels and Martinez for the Red Sox. 
as well. So there you go. Now for the hits. So, Bryce Harper Nationals patch. Boom. Nationals with a little something. There you go. If you're in the green, that means you got to hit the ground Mets. Remember, folks, two hitless spots will win a dice roll. Martinez Cardinals. Not to mention four random spots will get thrown into the uh, Sunday's $2,500 giveaway. Harrison Pirates. Encarnacion Indians. David Price Red Sox. Altuve Astros. What are you talking about, Eric? The 2500 is being split up. First place gets a thousand, second place gets a thousand, third place gets 500. As far as the $2,500 break credit Sunday. Severino Yankees patch. And Eddie Rosario Twins. Alright, now for the autos. A redemption for the Cubs. Chris Bryant, the Clubhouse Collection Autograph Relic. Kind of wish I could see that. There you go, Cubs with a hit. We also have an autograph for Jake Bowers of the Rays. Right there, so Rays with a hit. And last but not least, for the Astros, we have Mr. Alex Bregman with the on-card autograph. Very nice. And that's going to do it for the break. So, if your name is in green, congrats. You got a hit. You either got a one-on-one, -on -one, a patch, or an autograph. Everyone else, unfortunately, not so fortunate. So, guess what? Uncle Jesse going to try to get you a little something, something. So, two hitless spots are going to win a dice roll, which has a guaranteed hit. All right? The top spot will get their choice of the three uh, dice roll options, and the second spot will get their choice of the other two that are left. All right, so let's go ahead and do that hitless giveaway here. Go into the randomizer. We're going to go 12 times. Paste the name. So all these names did not get a hit, unfortunately. The top two will win. Dice rolls with guaranteed hits in it. Here we go. One twelve times. Good luck. Money shot twelve. Boom. Twelve times. So Ryan and Fred, congrats to the both of you. Ryan, you get your first pick, and Fred, you get to pick between the other two that are left. I think both are in the room in the room right now. So Fred, let me know which uh, dice roll you want to get into. There's the thirty four dollar one. The $59 one and the $79 one, each of them have different uh, things you could win. If you want to see what's what, uh, just read the description. And now the $2,500 giveaway, which is amongst everyone, four heritage spots will advance to the $2,500 giveaway, uh, giveaway taking place on Sunday, this Sunday, March 3rd. All right, going uh, 12 times. Here we go. Top four. Go on to the $2,500 giveaway. Gotcha, Ryan. What about you, Fred? 34 or 59? And the money shot 12? Boom. 12 times. The top four names are... Look at that. Dude, Ryan, you got two entries into the $2,500 giveaway Sunday. Eric with one and Derwin with one. Congratulations to y'all. Let me put this here. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody.